I'm going to ask Mike McCarthy and Ted Thompson if I could play the first series tomorrow night. And as we sat in our seats prior to kickoff, the crowd stood and they pointed in the direction of the Saints tunnel. And as I stood, I saw this long, gray-haired, scruffy beard player emerging from the tunnel. And I knew then and there, as goosebumps ran up my arm and the hair on the back of my neck stood up, that that was what I was destined to do and be. I wanted to be that player. Well, that player happened to be none other than Kenny Stabler. My mother-in-law, who for 33, 34 years has been by far my biggest fan, I have never thrown an interception that has been my fault, according to <laughs> according to my mother-in-law, Ann. And I overheard my father talking to the three other coaches and I heard him, and I, I assume I didn't play as well the previous week only because of what he said. And he said, I can assure you one thing about my son. He will play better. He will redeem himself. I know my son. He has it in him. And I never let him know that I heard that. I, I never said that to anyone else. But I thought to myself, that's a pretty good compliment, you know. I, I, my chest kind of swole up. And I, again, I never told anyone. But I, I never forgot that statement, and that comment that he made to those other coaches. And I want you to know, Dad, I spent the rest of my career trying to redeem myself. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get through it. Uh, but I spent the rest of my career trying to redeem myself and make him proud. And I hope I succeeded. <laughs> but he was a very fair guy. And I know that because could you imagine being Mike Holmgren and leaving San Francisco? Tremendous success coaching two of the greatest players of all time, Joe Montana and Steve Young, and getting stuck with Brett Favre. <laughs> now, I, I tell you, Packer fans are pretty special. Um, I often wondered what it was like when Mike and Matt Hasselbeck came back to play when they were with Seattle, and then I found out. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. But I thank you so much. From Atlanta to Minnesota, 20 years. Make no mistake about it. I will be remembered as a Packer. What makes me most proud is how I played the game. And being real, authentic, and spontaneous, and loving the game, to me, is what it was all about. I couldn't believe that they paid us and that I was racking up statistics like I was. I was just having fun. And I, I'm most proud of that. And so when I look back over my 20 years, I can honestly tell you, I can't tell you a lot, but I can honestly tell you that I hold no regrets. Did, did we win every game? No. Did I make every throw? No. Did I make mistakes? More than I care to count. But I can say this. There was never one time where I did not give it all I could. You know, and I, I've said this to my daughters, and I, I say it to any young person out there who is playing sports. Don't ever look back and regret not doing your best. Don't ever look back, because there are no second chances. When you're 25 and you wish you would have done something in high school, it's too late. Don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat your teammates. Work as hard as you possibly can. Lay it all on the line. And whatever happens, happens. But you won't look back and regret. I don't regret anything. It's not to say it was perfect. I don't regret anything. And that's what I'm most proud of. And I say thank you again.